Hello and welcome to another episode of SA Politics Unspun. We're at Latuli House today, the headquarters of the African National Congress, the ruling party in South Africa, and certainly the dominant player in our politics. The ANC occupies a place that is not just political, but is also historical, as it sees itself as the liberation movement that freed South Africa from apartheid. Its origins go back to 1912, when it was formed by a group of people who essentially wanted to end the racial subjugation of the majority of the country's population, but they also wanted to end what they saw as tribalism in South Africa. The ANC has roughly one million members at the moment. All of these members belong to branches which are dotted all around the country. Every five years, these branches send delegates to ANC conferences. You'll have heard about these conferences. They have names like Polokwani or Mangaung. And it's at conferences held by the ANC that the ANC's new leader is chosen. And usually, that person becomes the president of South Africa. Between these conferences, the ANC has a national executive committee which deals with matters that arise, the top 80 leaders of the ANC. This body is perhaps the most important political group that meets in South Africa on a regular basis. It's the body that really makes policy decisions that affect the ANC and South Africa. The ANC also has a national working committee. This is 26 members who meet more regularly than the NEC does, but they don't have the power or the responsibility of the NEC. Behind me, you'll see cars. You'll see a road that's been clogged up. Part of the lane has been closed. You'll also see a police in Yala. And that is to protect the people who come to Latuli House. As you can imagine, they'll include people like President Jacob Zuma and most of Cabinet. Perhaps the most famous of the recent ANC conferences has been at Polokwane at the end of 2007. It was then that President Jacob Zuma beat then-President Thabo Mbeki. But the ANC suffered internal stress as a result. Divisions started to emerge. We haven't yet seen public opposition to Zuma from within Latuli House, within people who are part of the ANC. But it's only a matter of time, as his term in office will soon come to an end. 